If you're not a marketer, you know, if you're a normal person, content creation is one of the biggest, biggest challenges you have when it comes to building your business. Because when you look around, you see content that seems to be just absolutely beautifully wordsmithed, something that just seems to flow like butter and something that you feel that you can never, ever, ever ship. You're confused about how do I actually create this content? Will somebody actually look at this? Will somebody actually engage with this? Or when it launches, would it be like, Well, don't worry, because in this video, we're going to fix all of that. Let's dive in. Welcome. My name is Arvind and I run Put The Player First. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to create marketing content, even if you are an absolute beginner. To start things off, I want to give you a very, very brutal truth. OK, this is something that my clients pay a ton of money to be to actually learn. And this is the most important rule of business as well. Nobody gives a shit about you, all right? So this means that whatever ideas that you have for marketing, whatever ideas you have about your product, if it is not gonna be tailored to your customer, it's just not gonna work. So what do you do? It's quite simple. Design around your customer. And that is the heart to put the player first framework itself. This is the framework adapted from video games where you have a hero in the beginning of the game who's stuck in a broken world because of monsters, but they want to get to paradise. Then a guide comes in, gives them weapons, sends them off on quests, and they use these weapons to defeat monsters, get loot, level up, and eventually reach paradise. That's like a seven second summary. If you want to learn more about this, check out the video in the doobly-doo, also known as the description. So now if you're wondering how do you actually get people to care, it's very simple. You focus on their problems because they don't give a shit about you. They're thinking about their problems. They're thinking about how do they get healthy, wealthy, um, happy, how do they have fun? They only think about themselves. Even right now, the reason you're watching this video is not because of this pretty face. You're watching this because you want to know how to create absolutely amazing content. The secret to this is to focus on their problems. When you dive into this, this framework, problems are indicated by the broken world and monsters, right? So look at your business, figure out these are the different problems that my customers have. And these are the problems that I, as a business, as a brand, am actually solving for my customer. Then you might be thinking, huh? How do I actually use this? And the answer comes in, boom. <laughs> I call these kind of diagrams, exploding diagrams, because one, I think that is their actual name. And two, I always imagine that this is how, you know, uh, things would explode. Do you see how they have a space shuttle? And then you can like explode it out into like different, different parts. We're going to be doing the same thing for those problems as well. And we're going to be doing it with exploding questions. Quite simply put, who, what, when, where, why, and how. I used to call this, um, Exploding Aristotle, because apparently Aristotle, one of my coaching clients told me that, came up with these questions. So thank you, Aristotle, if you're actually watching this video. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this as an example, right? One of the problems that my audience faces is that solo founders struggle to create content. So when you apply Aristotle's questions to this particular problem, this is what we get. Well, you might be thinking, all right, ideas are good. Six ideas is amazing, right? So what next? Well, the problem is ideas are useless until you can actually use them to create good content. But then again, when you go on the internet, there are so many different marketing gurus out there who say you should create content like this and you should use this framework and you should do this and you should do that. I have a solution. It's a framework that you can actually use to structure any piece of marketing content. The way you do that is very simple. Number one, you understand what scary stands for. It stands for situation, cause, answer, result, and your turn. And when you look back on that beautiful little framework diagram I have, the put the player first framework, discover that each of these mapped to different phases of that journey. Situation maps to the broken world. What is the situation they're in right now? What is messed up in their world right now? Then you dig into monsters which is again, mapped to the cause. Monsters are the root cause of the present situation that your customers are finding themselves in. Now that you identify what was the situation and what is the root cause, then you have to give them an answer. The framework, this maps to the weapon. Weapons are different pieces of content, ideas, insight, education, inspiration, mindset, value, network, any and all of these things that your customer can use to solve these problems, right? That's what you got to do as a, as, a, as a founder, as a guide. What you got to do is tell them, take my weapon. That sounds so dirty. Take my weapon and defeat that monster, right? And by doing this, they're going to get specific results, which also maps to paradise. See that situation, cause, answer, result. It's a sequence. It's a logical flow. And it uses this inherent structure of a story. We don't, we don't, we, we don't want to give them a scar, S-E-A-R. We want to give them scary, which is the why. 
and that is the your turn. This is how you can actually plug in your own offer. And I'm going to be demonstrating this to you like this. Let's go. So taking that initial problem, right? What causes the struggle to create interesting content? This is in the context of solo founders. Now, when I'm using the scary framework to create content around this, this is how it looks. The situation is that they're avoiding content creation. They're stuck in an infinite edit loop. They have half finished crap clogging up their C drive or D drive. And when they launch this content, they get the... I like the slow claps. Anyways, that is the situation part, all right? Next, we move on to the cause, which is where we talk about the monsters. Thinking about it, there are three main fundamental causes for all those problems. Number one is marketing madness, right? Everybody's just focused on appeasing the algorithm gods that they have forgotten that we have to write to the human. Number two is probability versus definite results. When you're doing something like coding, it is, it is a deterministic system. You know that if it's happening this way now, it's going to happen the same way again in the future. Whereas in marketing, a lot of stuff is about probability of success. Finally, overwhelm. Marketing is so hard. It takes so much of time. There is so much of effort. These are all the mental stories that are running in my customer's head. So I don't want to touch marketing. That's the stories that my customers are telling themselves. That being said, we're going to give them the answer to this problem. We're going to give them the weapons that they need to defeat this monster. And how do we do that? Well, quite simply, ta-da! The put the player first framework, right? That's number one. Number two is scary content creation. That's kind of like a very inception sort of thing that's happening right now. And finally, Haven. Haven's my Discord server where you can come, share your content, get feedback, and join a community of other people who are enjoying marketing. And finally, we talk about the result, right? Which is their version of paradise. So if they implement all these things, if you use the framework, you use scary, and you join Haven, you get to this paradise, which is, well, you're able to create content that is interesting to the audience. Just follow the process and this works. This brings me to your turn. And this is where you get to do the plug, right? If you've been watching this video, thank you so much. You've already taken the first step towards creating awesome content. Now, what I want you to do after this is use this process to really create a piece of content and try it out for yourself. It's not that hard. And finally, what I want you to do is hit me up for some marketing coaching if you do need it. You might be going, oh! Did you just pitch to me right now? Yes, I just pitched to you, but it's okay. I'm a marketer and that's what I do to grow my business. And you should be growing your business as well. Creating content is just the first step of the process. There are a whole bunch of other things that you need to do. You need to be able to design your business. You need to be able to figure out how to actually connect and resonate with your customers. You need to know how to build out your funnels. You need to do a whole bunch of these different things. Now, if you're struggling anywhere, you have two options. Number one, watch this video, which is going to pop up somewhere over here, which explains the Put the Player First framework and how you can use it in your business. And number two, come on over to Haven, right? This is where we have a very supportful, supportful, supportive community of founders who are also trying to figure this shit out, right? So you don't have to be all alone and I'll be there too. Aha. See you on the other side. Cheers.